Hey y'all, it's me, Nikia, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Honey, we are jumping right in with this summer. Decorate with me, letting in the fresh air and letting in some natural sunlight. In today's video, we are going to be decorating my living room area for the summer. And as you can see, I'm going to be using a lot of neutral colors as I always do and featuring lots of sleek, fresh designs and textures, lots of whites, lots of wood featuring some back baskets, of course, florals and some floral textured and floral printed pieces, as well as some glass pieces, some hints of gold, and a lot of different natural type textures. A lot of the pieces you see I use during the spring and summer season to create a clean, neutral look really focusing on bringing the outdoors in during this time of year. And of course, we're starting with greenery on the mantle. This garland is from Hobby Lobby. It is a single piece that I am just laying across the entire mantle and being sure to separate so that the stems and leaves on it are looking as full as possible along the edge of the mantle so that I can go in with decor behind the greenery. I'm starting and working from the inside out and you'll see why in a bit. But over in this corner, we're starting with one of my favorite vessels from Hobby Lobby. I love this piece. I love that it's aged. I love the handles on it and the size. And then on the other side, we're going in with this beautiful faux book stack, which was really affordable from Burlington. I love the gray velvet and the detailing of the jute and eucalyptus. These are some oldies but goodies also from Burlington and I'm going to pair them with some thrifted tea light candle holders from Goodwill. I love stacking items like this together. It just creates height and a little bit of contrast. And this is actually one of my favorite things to look at, this little candle holder duo on the mantle. I think it turned out really well. And to create some more symmetry, again, on those outer corners, I'm going in with these beautiful dried floral framed pieces of art from Hobby Lobby. You see, I got two different styles. I just love the way that these look. They just look so fresh and clean and are perfect summer pieces. If you are a Hobby Lobby shopper, make sure to check Hobby Lobby out right now because all of the spring decor is 50% off. And these were just such a steal at like $7 a piece. Next up are these beautiful glass jars. I love the detailing of the wire around them. It gives them more of an aged kind of vintage look. And I got them in two different sizes and I'm going to use those to kind of center all of the decor on the mantle. This cute little ceramic watering can came in a beautiful collection at Hobby Lobby that you will see some more pieces from as I continue to decorate in this area. This here is actually a DIY project that my husband made at a pottery class we took. Believe it or not, it was intended to be a cup. And now it's, you know, front and center for my home decor. Here we have a water hyacinth, kind of just woven fan from Hobby Lobby. I don't use this enough, but I love the look of it. It screams summer. And then I'm just finishing off some empty spaces with some more tiny ceramic pieces. The floral one is from TJ Maxx and the white one is from Hobby Lobby. And then to add in some final kind of texture, again, bringing the outdoors in for this time of year, I'm going in with some scrap bunny tail pieces that I've had for a while and stuffing them into these glass jars. And you can see the difference in eye appeal that that 
brings to this area. It's a simple thing to do, super affordable, and I love how it gives these jars a more elevated look to finish off the complete mantle decor design. Up next, we're going to style the built-in shelving on either side of the mantle. On this right-hand side, we're going to go in with this beautiful terracotta pot with these beautiful handles and this beautiful detailing. That is a part of that collection that I mentioned earlier. And I'm going to pair it with these discounted matte bronzy candle holders from Burlington. Here I am working in the wool of three, which is a science of grouping items together that can be very handy when decorating. It's an easy rule of thumb that I use in all of my styling, especially my shelf styling. On the second shelf, we're going in with this beautiful, huge white vase that was also a bargain deal from Burlington. This wall art from Hobby Lobby, which is just a woven basket that can be used actually in many different ways. I can see it being used as a tray with that beautiful flat bottom, but I am propping it up with an empty candle vessel and then going in with this beautiful beaded decor. I love the natural stone look of this and of course anything with some tassels, honey, and I'm just going to drape it out of the vase down the front and giving you a beautiful vignette of a three-piece styling. This bottom shelf is reserved for the dog. And so you'll see, I'm just going ahead and turning that treat jar around so that the word decor is not visible. And then I'm going in with some pops of florals to add into the rim of the container. This is actually really special because this is satin's floral collar from our wedding, which we do celebrate during the summer. And then I'm pairing it with these two glass treat jars, which I love. I love the design of these. These are from Bell's Outlet. One of them is missing a lid, but it is still very cute and still very functional. So we're still putting it to good use, okay? A cute little paw print keepsake. And then you'll see here those greens and blue starting to become more of the decor in the scheme of the living room with this really cute spoiled rotten dog sign. This here vintage inspired frame I just had to get from Home Goods at $8. And I'm going ahead and popping in a wedding print that has satin in it. This is actually my favorite photo of her from our wedding, but it does have a horizontal layout and I'm more of a fan of the vertical design of the frame. So I went with the vertical picture, but let me know in the comments what you think because nothing set in stone. I do love the way this ended up turning out and that is the finishing touch to this side of the built-in shelves. On the opposite shelves, we have some year-round decor here. I wouldn't quite call it decor, but look here, that PS5 and that wax warmer don't move. So we're just gonna decorate around it because we're professionals here, okay? On that bottom shelf, going in with a wood slab. Those who know, know that I love those from Hobby Lobby. And then going in with a clearance item from Burlington for the win all day in this video. I love the sleek modern design of that vase. And I'm just going in with some cheap 
beaded decor. This is very similar to a look we have on the other shelf, draping that beaded decor out of the vase out to the front and then finishing it off with the bouquet of dried florals which were featured in my last video that you should definitely check out if you're looking for some more decorating inspo. This here piece, I don't know where it's from, it was actually a gift from my husband for Valentine's Day and I would never pick up something like this on my own if I were to see it in the store but I I'm so happy to be styling it for the first time because it fits really well into the decor here in the living room and I do love the look of it. It's so sleek and pretty. I love the tulip design. This basket here came in a set of three. It is the smallest of the three. I love this basket and it's serving as functional decor at its best. I will be sure to link the set in the description box. But as we move on to the top and final shelf here, I'm just doing a very simple design of tearing some tall decor items. This here antique brassy candle holder is such a boss. I have three of these in three different sizes from Ross. I love them. And then this here, is it like a Harley Quinn diamond checker design here? I don't know. With this stone texture, beautiful from Burlington and then another piece from that featured spring collection from Hobby Lobby. I just love the texture of the leaf design on this and then there it is. A simple way to style three pieces of decor in a tiered design that is super stunning. Moving on to the entryway. This is the entryway table. I'm going in and starting with the decor on the bottom. First up with this beautiful round doll bowl from Robert Stanley from Hobby Lobby. Filling it with some moss balls from Hobby Lobby. These are very, very seasonal. I love the look of these. I wish I had another pack, but for now we're just going to place them in the front so that they are more visible to the front facing side of the table. This two-tone piece with all this texture is another steal from Hobby Lobby that I got for 50% off. And then next to that, we're going in with an oldie but goodie, y'all. I love this whitewashed wood tray. I've, I've had it for so long. I don't know where I got it from, but I love the size of it. I love how thick and durable it is. And then, of course, the gold leaf painted detailing. Oh, stunning. And I'm just going to stack it with some more decor, this beautiful round footed bowl from Hobby Lobby, and then some more moss kind of tying all of these pieces together. This really cute moss covered bird house also from Hobby Lobby. This basket is another oldie but goodie. I've had it for a long time. I know I got this from Ross. Uh, I love it. I use it year round and I'm just gonna put it in the center and then work on the other sides of it. This is just a piece from Hobby Lobby that's really a space filler but that I'm just using also functionally to hide some more plug-in containers. And then on the other side going in with a photo album that Jeremiah put together for us and then topping it off with a piece of decor that I've had for a long time and don't know what to do with anymore. I might just get rid of these but they're cute. My favorite part is styling the top of this entryway table, going in in the corner with this $10 modern vase from Burlington. I love it. And then filling it with some florals, which, yeah, you guessed it, is a bouquet. Actually, my wedding bouquet. Let me tell you something. I was dreaming of a beautiful real floral bouquet for my wedding and when I made the decision to go faux floral I I have no regrets let's just say that I love that I'm able to dismantle it and reassemble it however I want and just repurpose it the fact that I get to walk in every day and see my wedding bouquet on this entryway table just brightens up my day 
it brings back so many memories and that's what we are celebrating you know all summer so it's just really cool to be able to see it use in this way and to of course get the most of my money honey this bouquet is pieces all thrown together from hobby lobby and then you'll see some other pieces some eucalyptus that i'm going to use which is from michael's and then those drooping florals that you see kind of at the bottom up front are from walmart but let me tell you something if you are having any reservations, if you are planning any sort of big event where you're spending lots of money, do not be afraid to go full floral. I, I couldn't be more happy. Now, I do have two more flower arrangements that you will see in just a few where I will break down more of the tips and tricks of creating your own floral arrangement. But I typically like my floral arrangements to be nice and big and full and full of different varieties of flowers. In the corner, we're going to go with this beautiful candle holder. I love this piece. It was so cheap. And I love that when it's lit up, it gives this really cool amber gold glow from the inside out. Then this, of course, wedding print and this beautiful glass frame that is also a repurposed item. <laughs> You'll see a lot more of that coming up. Uh, and then over in this other corner, just going in with some of those other paired pieces from one of the shelves we just recently styled. Again budget friendly decor is always what I'm going to advocate for. Tying in a tissue box because it's functional. Allergies are real in the summer, okay? But it also fits right into the theme and scheme of what I'm going for here in the living room as well as this beautiful glass vase that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby that I'm stuffing with, you guessed it, some more florals from the wedding. And these are left over from our wedding arch, which was a DIY project that I also have no regrets about from last summer's big day. This here is not staying here, but it's here as inspiration for me, really, because I'm working on a gallery wall of some wedding prints, and that's one of the set that I plan on updating you guys on in the next video. And that's a wrap for the entryway table. The last two big decorating spaces are these floral arrangements, one of which is going to be going in this beautiful basket from Hobby Lobby and up on this wall that has some more year round decor on it. I'm just going to hang it up on this wooden wall decor that is intended for pictures, but that we're going to make our own. And I'm filling it with a variety of florals. These are going in first. These are some big, beautiful, sturdy stems that were on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Right now, Hobby Lobby is having their summer clearance. So again, run if you're looking for some decor to elevate your home this summer. And then these are those flowers again that I mentioned from Walmart, which were really my favorite florals from the wedding. I love how droopy they are, how stark white they are, and they were only $5 for a bundle. I got a, a lot of them. I ended up returning a few, but they are so full and beautiful and I love them. And that's the look that I'm going for in this basket. Always starting with the big greenery filler pieces and then going in with florals. Here we're focusing on some beautiful yellows and greens and whites with roses from Dollar Tree and then another stem of flowers that I believe were from Michael's. Then I'm pairing that with this beautiful framed artwork from Hobby Lobby. I love a good print with a good frame. This was only 10 bucks in the juxtaposition of the flat black and white floral 
picture right next to this 3D colorful arrangement of flowers is just so eye-catching. This wall has become one of my favorites this season. I love it. I love the way it turned out. Recreating another basket arrangement here in this hanging basket. This is actually intended to be used for hanging, but you can do this with anything. You can do this with a tote bag, a basket, you know, the options are limitless. It's really just about being able to use this rule of thumb of always start with your greenery as you just saw and then fill in the gaps and make it as full as you like with florals. Again, all of these florals are left over from the wedding, so none of this is new, and that is the beauty of full florals too. As long as you keep them up from season to season, you can reuse them for a lifetime. And I'm really loving the number of flowers that I'm using here in this basket. And arranging takes some time. I wanted to show you this so that you can see that it does take a little bit of thinking and, and, and placement, right? There is strategy behind it, but the beauty of it is that it's customizable to your needs, your wants, your likes, and then of course, what you have. And then here we are with these beautiful floral designs, but not in vases, but are really bringing in the outdoor summer feeling into the home and just really elevating this wall space. I mean, such an easy and affordable decorating hack. The finishing touches are here, adding in some decor to the seating area. That beautiful tray is from Burlington. You'll get a close up look of it in a bit. But then I'm just going in with some spring, summer inspired patterns on the sofa with some decorative pillows. Lots of blues, lots of greens, lots of whites, and then some different shapes and sizes and textures. Some that feature some fringe, some that have some stripes, and some that have some floral design, and then some other designs. These are all a collection of the years outside of the new set that you saw that I got from Home Goods that I am obsessed with. And they were going in with some artwork. I love this oversized piece and it fits perfectly on the wall behind me. I love that it's so simple. It's just got this white and this blue coloring with this greenery inspired design to it and then that wood frame it's just so stunning and it fits really well here again and will go directly across from the gallery that i told you i am in the process of curating that i can't wait for you to see over here on this small wall i've added in um some seating underneath this actually that you will hopefully get to see in the next video too but it's just a small piece of art that's also from hobby lobby all the artwork that you see hanging up in my house is from hobby lobby i promise you that uh, because it's really affordable and then this last piece i love so much it's so antique looking with that weathered paper and then this hand design floral art on the inside and this beautiful aged frame i wish that it were hanging a little bit lower but i did not want to add any more holes into the wall so i left the screw there that wraps up our decorating for the summer in the living room area and here is a final look around as we close i want to thank you for sticking through the end of the video if you have made it this far and just let you know how much I appreciate you stopping by my channel, coming through to my home and giving shine and support and love with your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. I am gonna link some more summer inspired videos in the description box and will also leave my latest video in a video that I think you will also like up on the final screen. In the meantime, until we are back together again, my friends, be sure to take care of yourselves. Happy decorating, happy shopping, happy homemaking, and I will see you soon.